I wanted to be a doctor and possibly even more so a pediatrician from my experiences when I was um, a child. I actually loved going to the doctor. I thought my pediatricians were some of the greatest people and I'm sure some people think that's crazy but they really made me feel good. Not only when I was ill going to get medicine to feel better but when I was going for my healthy checkups they remembered that I liked riding horses or that I was in the honors program at school or whatever and, and they would ask me about those things and they really made me feel special. I think kids are the, the greatest people to treat. Um, partially the medicine is really interesting. Uh, babies have different illnesses than children, that have different illnesses than teens, that have different illnesses than young adults. So the, the breadth of medicine is actually really all over the place which I think is very interesting from a medical um, and science standpoint. But I also think kids have uh, some sort of resilience and uh, inspiring qualities. Uh, they get so sick and so ill, but they still, you know, want to make sure that mommy's doing okay, or they give hugs still, and they'll blow kisses, and, and they're just really wonderful little people. When we have new families coming in, uh, or first-time parents, we recommend them make a meet-and-greet visit. Um, it's totally free to them, and it's a visit that we can offer to parents to answer their questions before the baby comes, um, and make sure that they have met their pediatrician, they understand the style that we have, they understand the office, and how things work. Um, so when the baby does come and things get a little bit more hectic, they can feel comfortable and already established with their uh, new child health care. When I talk to parents about staying healthy in general, um, we talk a lot about preventative medicine. Um, they always say the ounce of prevention is worth a, a pound of cure, and that's that really is the truth. So making sure that they live a healthy lifestyle all the time, um, even when they're not sick, is really important. Kids, I think, do require a little bit of a, a special uh, treatment style, um, not only because they're younger and they maybe not understand things as well as an adult might, but also because they're they're part of the family unit. So if I tell a teenager that they have to eat healthy and exercise, well, their food choices and their behavior choices and active lifestyle choices are all part of that family unit. So I need to make sure that the entire family is a part of these healthcare decisions. And that's a unique thing, as opposed to an adult who is an independent person that can make decisions on their own. When my patients and my families uh, leave an appointment, I really hope that they feel that they've gotten the best care for them personally. I hope that they leave the appointments thinking that I was able to treat them on a personal level, that I was able to tailor the recommendations to them on a, on a unique person basis. Um, I hope I answered every question that any parent would have. One of the greatest things is that I get to see all age groups. So I do love babies and I think they're wonderful and I think new parents are, are really impressionable and I can do a lot of educating and make a, a lot of difference in their lives. But each age group offers different challenges and unique uh, healthcare uh, choices and education points. So I actually think that all the ages are, are really great and that's part of the reason I wanted to be a general pediatrician so I could work with every point in a child's life. Because I know that when I was a child I was very positively impressed by my pediatrician and to think that I could possibly be uh, influencing other children in that positive way really makes me feel good.